So in this video I'm going to show you the PI technical monitoring. So for the process integration technical monitoring, go to Solution Manager Technical Monitoring Work Center, click on the PI monitoring tab in the Navigation Work Center, select the system in question, and then first up we'll go to the overview monitor. So this will start at uh, embedded. And there you have the monitoring of the central components and the business systems. If I navigate down to the central components to the alerts, you can see the integration engine has got an alert here, uh, together with the adapter engine is also going to alert. Uh, if I keep navigating forward, uh, it'll take me uh, into the alert inbox. So if I click on this, uh, I've got a high priority message. This has been transferred uh, across to the alerting um, capability of Solution Manager. So if I click on it here, it'll take me uh, into the uh, alert framework, into the, into the detail. Here I can have a look at what the problem was with the adapter engine. So there was some sort of ping test which failed. And if I click on the graph, I can get some sort of uh, metric capability to, sh to show what was going on. So if we uh, cruise backwards, uh, so we've had a quick look at the alert inbox, so I can have a look at the adapter engine here or the other, the other components um, for the PI. Uh, the other views I can get in here, obviously I can do uh, the graphical view, which you've seen, or I can show the tabular view, so here we can go into the business systems and then navigate into where the, where the problem might be. Alright, so if I shut this guy down, the next thing I want to show you, so that was the overview. Next thing I want to show you is the component view. So if I start that embedded, now we're going to have a look at the detailed components of uh, PI. So if I expand everything here, you can see I've got a red light here on uh, one particular business system. So if I click on this guy, there's the heads up. So we've got some security roles in the SLD which are inconsistent and the integration engine is not familiar with the business system. So again, if you click onto the uh, description, it'll take you to the alert inbox, and then it'll help you to track down what the problem is. All right, so from here, uh, you can navigate to other bits and pieces. So the PI savvy guys uh, who are listening in will know where the cache monitor is and the ESB and uh, all the other bits and pieces are, right? So this is forward navigation into the satellite system, into the PI directly without having to log on, so via single sign-on uh, and then you can, you can check the other bits and pieces direct. Alright, so that's the second, the second tab. The next one I'm going to show is the message monitor. So here we can have a look at all the PI messages which have come through the system. So here in the time range, if I have a look at last year, I apply that. So this, this is going to be all the messages which have been coming through my PI system. So if I sort it uh, via the number of error messages here, so I'll get something with some sort of display. Here's a big one. Is that a couple of errors? So it looks like I've had uh, a chance to have a look at the, these, uh, these proxies to find out what the errors are. So this one in particular has had a, a number of errors. Alright, so this is the number of messages which have been through in, uh, successfully, the number of messages which have failed, and of course, uh, uh, the total, and of course the number of uh, messages which are in error. We can also have a look at the backlog monitor, so if you've got a situation where the PIQs can't clear fast enough, there'll be a backlog here, so my, my highest count was one uh, at one point, so you can have a look via the components or via the status. Um, so I don't, I don't have something, I don't have a a status assigned to that, and if we have a look at the errors, same kind of deal. So we got uh, three 300 errors in total. Uh, a number of them were through the integration engine, some were through the adapter engine, and some were through the proxy. So here is an active graph to show you uh, which ones are which, and of course you can have a look uh, from components or from the status view. So the last thing I want to show you is a message search. So in here you can get in and you can search for particular messages and then track them down in the PI system of, of your choice. So once you get serious about the PI monitoring you might set up uh, an interface channel monitoring. So here we use uh, similar technology to the end user experience management. So that's my landscape. 
uh, one of the dashboards which I've configured so far if I show custom range and if I show the last three months you'll be able to see some real-time uh, monitoring of the um, channel using PI and of course here we can switch from a, um, a bar chart to a, uh, a line chart so eventually we'll fix up all of these uh, all of these panels within the within the dashboards and then we can have uh, real-time alerts based on uh, some of the metrics coming through these uh, on, on the dashboards